let's have a quick and easy look how we can use the clipboard to get content from other uh, sources into your knowledge presenter lessons. Now you may or may not know but uh, generally speaking in the add objects uh, menu we can import almost anything. Uh, images, tables, create tables, movies, shapes, maps, uh, PowerPoint documents, almost anything. And as, as another quick example, I'll select an image. We can get the image from a range of places. I uh, will just choose one of our default. In fact, I'll choose one of these animated GIF files. And it, it the animated GIF doesn't uh, uh, preview on the canvas, but once we preview this lesson, that would uh, that would preview. You'd see it animate. Now, what I'm, what I'm going to look at, rather than just showing you how we can uh, bring this content in that way, we're going to do some copying and pasting. So if I just delete that object, we don't want that. I'm going to Alt-Tab over to a browser where I have set up, um, in fact, this is the Adobe Stock photography site, which we use sometimes. And let's say I'm doing some placeholders at the moment, and I want to use this image, knowledge is power, in my lesson. Um, again, this we haven't paid for this one, we're just doing some placeholding. But if we right-click on any image in a browser, we generally get the copy image command. I'll Alt-Tab back to Knowledge Presenter, and I'll just choose Edit Paste. But I could have chosen Control-V, and we have a number of objects that we can paste. But in this case, we're just choosing picture copied from another program. And we can choose whether that comes in as a JPEG or a PNG. Uh, based on the content, it's a photograph, so we would generally choose a JPEG. And we get to name this, so we'll just call that our header. And there it appears in our objects bar on the left. So we have that object in our lesson. We can resize it, we can move it around, we can put it on whatever pages we want. Currently it's just on page one. Uh, well now we could do some other things of course. We could apply animations, effects, uh, maybe we'll just apply a border quickly. Give it a bit of a, a black border. Now not only can you copy and paste pictures and text of course, um, you can take content from products like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint where you've created particular objects that uh, are generally speaking only found in that in that product. So for example, here is some word art we've created in Microsoft Word. It says Knowledge Presenter. I can just uh, select that and choose Copy. Again, Alt-Tab back to Knowledge Presenter. Go to the Edit menu and choose Paste. Uh, again, Picture copied from another program. And this time I'll choose Ping because it's not really a photograph. And we'll give this the name main text. So I'll just move that down a little. And you can see that we've got, uh, just from simple copy and paste, we've set up our start page. Now one of the other things you can do that a lot of people don't know is, let's say you've set everything up nicely, you've got your borders, your animations, all that sort of stuff. Let's say we want to change the picture though without having to set all the parameters again, the, the timing, the animations, the uh, effects. So what we can do is I'm just going to select that object. I'm going to alt tab back to our uh, stock site here and I might decide that well the one I actually wanted was this one here. So I'll click on that to get a bigger preview on this site. Right click, choose copy image, alt tab back to knowledge presenter, select that, edit, paste. Now this time I'm going to say replace the current object with a picture copied from another program. So it's just going to replace that image. It wasn't quite the same dimension, so it just warns us that it will change the size slightly. And it was ever so slightly. And we now have a new image in there. We can make sure that's centered just by choosing horizontal center there. And in fact, we can do the same thing with this object here. Just make sure it's centered and perfect. It is. So getting content from other products, very, very simple.